when an aircraft suffers severe malfunction and crashes in a remote location. Finding the aircraft as soon as possible is critical for search and rescue operations. To help reduce the search and rescue time, the aircraft is equipped with the emergency locator transmitter beacon. The beacon is in the aft part of the aircraft and is connected to an antenna. It can be turned on manually using the switch in the cockpit, but the crash results in connection breakage or loss of electrical power, rendering the switch useless. Therefore, the beacon has a G switch for activation during aircraft crash. The G switch closes to activate the beacon when it experiences a G force of 5G or greater at the time of impact. Once activated, the beacon transmits signals in three different frequencies. 121.5 MHz and 243 MHz signals are transmitted continuously for 72 hours and is the beacon's maximum battery capacity. But the most critical transmission is the 406 MHz signal, which is transmitted every 50 seconds for 24 hours. The 406 MHz signal gets picked up by the satellites orbiting the Earth. The beacon signal provides information of the aircraft in distress to the satellite. The satellite helps track the location of the aircraft and significantly reduces the search site to one nautical mile radius area. The satellite relays the information to the ground control center. The ground control processes the information and alerts the search and rescue team. The search and rescue team, heading towards the approximate location, tunes into 121.5 and 243 MHz frequency on their receivers. The two frequencies act as homing signals to help them reach the crash site. Thanks for watching.